What's up, Internet? We are here in Black Desert. Uh, I think it's supposed to be Black Desert Online. They shortened the name. I don't know why. Uh, this is the Xbox One version that just came out today, um, almost 24 hours ago, if you got the big, stupid, expensive version. I did as a birthday present to myself. Um, and I've been pretty excited for this game to come out back when it came out on PC, but I didn't have a PC powerful enough to run it. I, I do now, and I actually have a copy on my PC, and I've, embarrassingly enough, never actually played it. <laughs> but, um, I, I've been pretty excited to play this because I'm a big RPG fan, but I also really love MMOs. I haven't played one in a good, like, six years because I've been so busy with, um, stuff for the channel, really, but, uh, this gives me an excuse to play it, and I've been excited about it. So we're going to go into this. Now, I already created a character last night. Uh, I was supposed to stream this last night. However, I figured character creation would take a while, and it did. It took about two hours because I'm insane. And also, um, I, I ran into a couple of issues just trying to get into game. Uh, I, I think the game is fine itself, but the initial load of everything to the actual client on your Xbox, that, that seemed to be a little bit buggy for me, like the first time I went it uh, got up to 99% and then died, and then it got up to 90% and died, and then after like four more tries then it finally worked, but I made a character, and before we go into this, I want to talk a little bit about the customer, customer, the custom character creator, because I noticed one or two things that was kind of interesting about it. Now, above my character you can see the name Solo Wing, that is my family name. Now. If I'm reading into this properly, what I think that means is sort of like Fantasy Star Online 2's um, chat system. Essentially the idea is you are not your character so much as you are your account. And what this basically means is if you want to directly message any individual character, you message the account and then every character gets that message until it's received. And likewise this means that theoretically every person who plays this game could have the same character name but they're just known under their family name, I, I think is what that is. I, again, I haven't played any of this. This is all first impression stuff, but I, I just want to go over this. Uh, second thing I noticed is from like the 1% of things I read about this game, because I kind of want to know about the characters before we started, uh, this is an earlier version of the game than the PC version, as I understand. Not dissimilar to say how the console versions of Minecraft worked, where they were basically completely different games than the PC version. And I say that because uh, there were characters that seemed interesting to me that aren't remotely playable right now. Um, so, so hopefully we'll get that eventually. Uh, there was like a ninja-ish class that seemed really interesting to me. Uh, the last thing about character creation that seemed fascinating to me was... Um, you can't see it here, but there was an option for a custom pose maker, and it, it let you mess with your character's like skeletal structure and like the individual joints articulated just to like try and create your own custom pose. I spent way too much time on that to make something that isn't remotely good, and I don't think we'll ever see it, but <laughs> the fact that's a feature is certainly fascinating, but uh, going back a step, I've always found it weird that games like do that, where it's like, uh, we're going to release a console version, but it's going to be like 20 different iterations behind it. I'm not, I'm not sure why they do that. I'm, I, I don't imagine it would be easy to simply directly port something existing, but if you're going to bring up a game onto a, another version of it anyway, why not just bring the full thing that's, you know, up to current existence at the same time? I don't know. I imagine it's a lot of work either way, but still. But, um, yeah, I, I've been really excited to play this since it first came out on PC. I remember um, the YouTube ads and how they were flashing off how, you know, this is not pre-rendered, this is in-engine, and it does look this good. So, <laughs> I, I've, I've been pretty excited to play this, to be honest. And I do love MMOs. Um... Back when I was in high school, I played the ever-living shit out of MMOs. Um, the big one for me was this cheap, free one called Asda Story, which was... Uh, fun fact, the origin of every single MMO that's ever had a relationship system. That was the first one. In fact, I was the first player of that game, too, which was kind of interesting. But, uh, fun facts about how MMO systems exist, I guess. One thing I've always found weird about MMOs, though, especially the RPGs specifically, is that... At least 99% of them all try and be WoW, but like a, a lesser version of WoW. And I'm not saying that WoW doesn't do things right, but it does a lot of things wrong too. And I, I think that trying to 
be wow but better is a good way to immediately fail. You gotta do your own thing. Are you awake? So I, I'm genuinely interested in seeing what this does differently. I did play a little bit of ESO when I got the full uh, collection of it for like $5 a few months ago and I found it to be woefully underwhelming is, is probably the best way to describe it because it still played like WoW, it just looked like ESO and it's like, oh, or it just looked like Elder Scrolls, but it's like, no, it has to actually properly play it or what, what's the point? Okay, so we are very, very slowly being tutorialized. I am moving. Hooray! Slow motion running! Woo! Camera control! Ain't it a thing? Well, that character speed's a little fast. Okay, uh, go to the destinations. So basically... Hey, look, it's a thing. Let's ignore the thing and just keep going to the glowy circle of destiny. Okay, go to supply box. And loot! Okay, so use potions. I've got a Poe. Alright, so let's talk about quests. I, I feel like I should read this, but who reads MMO quests? Seriously. I, I've been playing some AC Odyssey recently, and I found myself skipping like all the dialogue for quests, too, and it's like, why am I doing this? I actually want to be interested in this. Okay, I'm an amnesiac. I've got this little Poe guy. Got it. Okay. Okay, let's go find an NPC to have a quest with. Uh... Do you have a quest? Are you here nope. to meet with Captain Cliff? I see lots of question marks, but I think those are just people you can talk to. There's an exclamation point. That could mean something else. Seems you're an adventurer. Need a weapon? All right. Uh, conversations. I'm not smart enough to converse. Okay, we got a quest over here, I guess. I'm curious about something. Uh, let's see. Mail, system, system, system settings. Uh, general settings. Uh, UI. Is there a way to turn off the... Because I do not care to see chats. I don't think there is. That's annoying. Captain Cliff is the hero of Hyder. Okay, let's see. There's a rumor that trees are moving in the deep forest in the south. It's hard to sleep. Okay, so I think I got my quest. I, I think, I guess not. Let's try again. What exactly here is the quest? Come upon a violent bear in the forest. It's too dangerous. I'll put you on record if you want to support West. Okay. Got enough knowledge. We never lose pride. There's a rumor that trees are moving in a deep forest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let us chat. This interface is a little bit weird, but okay. We got a maintenance period, so we're gonna get kicked off immediately, I'm sure. I would like to talk to you. Maybe I have to increase my knowledge to uh, get a proper quest or something. Okay, talk to Eden. Where is this person I'm looking for? Is there a map system? 
I'm looking for the guiding line. I'm not seeing it. Ah, my controller. My controller likes to do dumb things. Okay, it led me here. And then I talked to you. Okay, well, we greeted. Okay, so where is the person we need to talk to exactly? Got an arms dealer. There's supposed to be some kind of guiding line. Where is that? This is me just learning the interface of this game, really. It says follow the line. I'm not seeing it. Could it be that this thing is bugged out, or is it just that I'm inept? Both possible. Whoopsie, I don't want that. Uh, let's see. Navigation has been enabled. There we go. Somehow disabled navigation, I guess. Onward to adventure! I see. I saw that face portrait, thought you were a player character. I guess not. Are you really an expert? You don't look like one at all. Well, I've investigated ruins across the continent. I study ancient artifacts. Everybody says they're... Moist cutscenes! We're rocking and rolling now. I didn't come here alone. I'm with an ancient language expert and some quality excavators. Before Princess Direct, you must mind your. I am sorry, adventurer, but I can't really trust you with a job this important. Oh, burn. Turn where you came from. Hmm. No, thank you. Look, I discovered this gemstone in the Valencia ruins. It was verified as authentic by the Imperial Court. My goodness, isn't this a gem of balance? They say it concealed the dark power. I never thought I would see one in my lifetime. Hmm? So is this something that Sir Jordan is looking for? Fine. You are in charge of the Stone Chamber investigation now. A fortnight. That's how long I'm giving you to figure it out. Huh. It'll be much sooner than that. Alrighty. So... It must be destiny that brings you here. Continue. Move towards the light, even in the darkness. Complete. Gradually, Hooray! We finished our quest. Complete. We are the hero of the tale. Remember, my friend, I'm Aiden. Onward! Resisting you. Talk to this guy. Obsession with one's heyday is for the combat. Yes, please. You can also improve your skills by using energy. Okay, so right stick is draw weapon. That's peculiar. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So how you input along with the... Uh... That's cool. Okay. Oh, right trigger. It feels a little bit more, um, like, action-oriented than the standard, you know, click on a thing, let your character murder it until you're done. I appreciate that. Oh, there's some slowdown. If the enemy is too strong, raise your strength against weaker ones. So fight some stuff. Got it. Finish getting ready for combat in Western Camp. Onward to go murder some things. I'll admit the actual movement is a little bit clumsy. Is the 
There's a rumor that trees are moving in a deep Okay, so now we got lots of things. So we gotta go talk to a bunch of guys. Or murder a bunch of guys. Either or, really. Hooray! I can kill things. It really is a game about murdering things. I'm genuinely curious if this is going to be one of those games that has one of those, like, stupid objectives that's like, you know, get a, a an intact version of X drop, which only shows up, like, one out of every, like, 200 drops. Oh god, I'm having flashbacks to the watercolor jester mask. Those took, like, 10,000 kills to get one drop. It was the worst. I do kind of like how active, like, the defense system is. That's kind of nice. It does feel a little bit button mashy. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but... Red name means I'll probably get murdered if I attack you. Okay, so every time you kill X, you get, like, a, uh... Interesting. That's kind of a cool idea. Kill a thing, and then you get more knowledgeable about a thing. And then you can, you know, fight the thing easier. That's pretty cool. Uh-oh. Looks like, uh... Gaining drops sometimes requires, like, external devices. That's interesting. Uh, let's see. No, oh, I... I very much like to get rid of chat if I can. Let's check. I know I just did, but I'm gonna check again. Mainly because I just don't like chat. I, I think it's annoying to see. Let's see, anything else? No, uh, let's not click disconnect, that would be a bad idea. Settings. Uh, nope. Let's try that again. There doesn't seem to be a back out setting. Let's see, master music, that's an audio, there we go. There doesn't appear to be a way to like just turn off chat, I don't care for that very much. Okay, check quest window would be that guy. Okay, select one. Well, we don't have any need for mana right now, I don't think, so we'll just do that. Defeat a group of imps while we're doing that. So, go team! I do kind of like the idea of, you know, becoming more knowledgeable about an opponent by murdering it, and then it gets easier to murder. Like, that's a... That, that's kind of novel. I gotta say, like, the worst uh, MMO I ever played, and it, it wasn't even technically an MMO, but it just played like it was uh, White Knight Chronicles, so that game was just abysmal. Oh, I've got, like, PTSD for White Knight Chronicles, that game was so bad. Well, there's a way to turn off chat, and I'm just too dumb to actually uh, figure it out. The moment we're done this, I'll figure it out and what'll happen. I like that it's not, you know, uh, WoW or like say Dragon Age Origins style of just click on your opponent and like your teammate will, or your teammate, your character will do the rest. I hate that crap. I want to be active in like actual combat. That's what's the point. It really doesn't feel like you're removing yourself from your it, it, like uh, input device. It feels like you're just actively clicking a button and then stuff is happening, whereas, you know, if you have to worry about defense and dodging and stuff, that makes it all the more active, which 
makes it a better system as far as I'm concerned. Okay, well, I will check my quest window the moment I'm out of area where I will get attacked. Okay. So, quest. I think I did already. Oh, we got an achievement. Hooray! That's a thing I wanted for sure. Combat level 10 already? Huh. I'm guessing stuff like... Uh, I'm guessing like it's a profession thing, like there's combat and there's crafting and sort of stuff. And they each handle individually. Captain Cliff is the hero of Hydra. We never lose pride. Alright, so. Follow the line of destiny. Onward! the job and go home why is Aiden so late you have you seen Aiden in the stone chamber onward that's the people with their crazy mounts oh oh there Let's talk to this guy and do a thing. Yep, I'm already MMOing this. Like, screw listening to the story. I'm just gonna go murder things. That's that's how these games work. Sorry. I hate fighting dogs in games. I love dogs. Dogs are awesome. a little bit stuttery. Not unbearably so, but a little bit. I hope they uh, fix that up a little. I think that's a server side issue, though. Okay, so we gotta check the quest window. Which tells us to go this way. Because I've got the magical line of destiny turned on. Uh oh, it's a slightly bigger rock monster. I am the slayer of the rock monster. Okay, this guy's just not registering any damage whatsoever. That's interesting. Okay, so there's just an immortal rock monster thing. Anything I can loot? It's not. This is the thing I need to talk to. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so go murder some rock thingies. Got it. A 
Yes, Beetle. Not on my watch. Get it's unaccepted. How do I accept it though? Okay, so go to the quest thingy. Okay. I appear to be stuck. Okay, now let's try this again. Give me advice. I need to accept the quest I already accepted. Okay. Sure. I like these designs for the uh, nature spirit things. Whoa. Block. Another thing worth asking is, like, how grindy is this game gonna be? Because, I mean, making a game grindy is not necessarily a good thing. Like, a little bit grind, I mean, that's expected, but... Is this gonna be one of those games that's basically completely back-end grind? Or is it one that's going to open up, like, new adventures and stuff as you eventually advance, thus changing up how the game works on a fundamental level? I've seen a few that do both, and I do not care as much with the grindy ones, but I can definitely see this potentially being like that. It's something to definitely be aware of going in. I will murder you tree spirits! I have nothing against nature, but you appear to be freaking a guy out, and I have a quest to kill you. So he'll freak out less. Again, nothing personal, it is just a quest. And I need that delicious, delicious experience. Baby one. I don't know why that guy's scared of these things. They're entirely harmless until you bother them. Still, I mean, thus far, between like the learning and some of the bits of the character customization, there's some things about this I find to be quite intriguing. Don't see any immature ones. There's an immature one, and I'm fine with buying these for delicious experience, but actually we do have to finish. There's one. Hey, loot! Uh, we're learning more about you tree spirits. There's one. Onward. Ah, uh, there's another.
All right. Check the quest window or follow the magical glowy line of justice. I think I will follow the line. Because looking at menus is boring. Can now learn a skill. Interesting. And how does one go about learning this stuff? Exactly. Is there a skill system in this menu? I'm not seeing it. Thought you were smart hiding there while well, you're now dead. Don't you feel silly? I wonder, is there a. Yes, inventory. I did see a sword. Interesting. Can I? Can I please? Ah. I don't think I can dual wield, that's unfortunate. It's shiny! Back to what's her name, I guess. Also, there we go. Just took you an extra couple of minutes before you spawned in. There's nothing that I like about this country, so I knew this was coming. You don't want your wages, do you? Hey, armor. I would very much like that. Up. Oh, sweet. There's a uh, shortcut. I like that. That makes life a little easier. Huh, so it layers over. That's kind of cool. Whoa there. I'm running faster! this mission yeah. oh there is a jump yay I'm that weird nutball who thinks there should be a jump in like every game puzzle games jump totally makes it better also I'm crazy about exploration so jumping makes me happy I can jump for joy Say the UI is a little bit cluttered with all this nonsense. I think we got ourselves another quest. Soon we'll have more quests and we'll know what we can do with. It's not a statue at all, it's a monster!
I am currently frozen in place. Whoa, that's a thing. Yeah, I, I'm genuinely getting annoyed with there being a chat system just awkwardly taking up this space. Is there any way to turn that off? I don't think so, and that, that bothers me. Genuinely, I'm going to look it up. Just for shits and giggles. Currently there is no way. Hooray! And by that I mean boo! I hate this overly cluttered UI. At the very least, make your chat log only take up like four or five messages, not half the goddamn screen. I'm gonna be upset about this. It must be destiny. Hey, it's this guy that I don't care about. I shall do things. Quest related things. Oh, a thing happened. I've got this little ghost thingy following me around. except probably not. He's a friendly giggly guy. Remember, my friend, I'm Aiden. All right. Aiden became free. Go look at all the things and somehow that'll save the world. I looked at all the things, please don't quiz me. Gradually, experience will show you. This, this doesn't seem like the game that's gonna make you go through multiple dialogue trees to try and impress someone, <laughs> thankfully. The actual like movement is a little bit clumsy and chunky, kind of like if you were to um, be playing with like a D-pad or something. 
which doesn't really translate to a controller all that well, because of course you're, you're not using... Oh wait, hold on, I think I had to talk to a guy. It, it, it's just a little strange to translate basically three-dimensional move, or two-dimensional movement to three-dimensional inputs. There's like a lot of dead zone that just doesn't quite work. Okay, now I think I had to talk to this guy. There we go, I got your gift. Hey, inventory bonus! Cool. On wood! But why follow that when I can go off the beaten trail and kill more things for more experience? Boar. When I played AC Odyssey, I've learned to become very angry at boars, especially ones that summon a lot of little boar piglets to murder you horribly. I know a lot of people complain about the poison one, but I, I didn't have any fun with it. Actually, it was really just the uh, first, um, like, crazy animal he had to hunt that bothered me. Everything else was just a really straightforward fight. Like, surprisingly so, comparatively, it was weird. Hey, we murdered another grass beetle. But we lack a pickaxe to collect anything. Hey, back attack. Are you telling me there's bonuses depending on how you approach your opponent? That's pretty cool, actually. I like that. And that reminds me a little bit of, um, that was a Kingdom Come a little bit. Even though that game was a horrible buggy mess, too. We're in the way! I need delicious experience! Again, think you could hide in the bushes! Bush spirit, it doesn't work. All right, where is the? Uh, here we go. Left. I did a thing. Give me reward. Aiden so late. You have you seen Aiden in the stone chamber? Oh, I might talk to you then. I shall accept your quest, whatever it is. Okay, talk to guard captain guy over here. That'd be this guy. I'm starting to pick up on the uh, interface a little bit more. Sounds like you need a random passerby to do your dirty work for you. Fortunately, that is what I'm here for. Oh, there game. Oh. Caught 
on bits of environment and NPCs because reasons of collision detection. Sorry. I see no imps around here. Oh, there's one. Just lucky he spawned on top of me. That was quite convenient. Ah, oh, I'm safe in the safe zone. And now I've entered a murder zone! save you random grunts. I don't need to kill those people. I did just for you. You're welcome. That's an NPC. That is weirdly proportioned. Is he supposed to be like that? Okay. We must kill some more imps. Because we're not quite strong enough to go fight a kobold yet. Or whatever. Hey, here's some. No regret being a quest objective, I feel. For I'm a random hero along with like the millions of other people who potentially have and will play this game because you're now our targets hey items Torn ornaments? is that like some piece of equipment? did you really look like imps? they look like Kind of like dinosaur people or something. Uh, inventory. A pair of socks. Sure. You will fear my new socks of defensiveness because plus one defense means I am indestructible. Because that's how RPGs work. the uh, clothes are clipping into each other. That's... I'm not going to say that surprises me for an MMO because that happens in like all of them, but still it looks really shoddy. PSO2 it happened, but it only happened if you modified the size of your equipment and stuff for style points. From what I remember, anyway. It's been a pile of, like, six years. That was back when there was only, like, three classes. <laughs> okay, so now I gotta check the quest window. Which is... Uh, which one is questing? World map. Whoa! So let's go through that menu. I do like the speed up. It, it allows you to get where you need to go faster. That's appreciated.
He was a scout. If we didn't kill him, he would have informed the others. need to be shown who's boss. It's whatever Mook decided to hire me. I am clearly a random person looking for random jobs because it gives me a purpose in life. Hey, you don't die in two hits. You're actually kind of competently designed. A silver bar. That sounds like a thing you can sell for. Lots of gold dollar ingot whatevers. Loot. I need a key. We must find a key for loot. Because adventure. I don't care that they were having a rave, that's all the more reason. They were obnoxious and dancing, and clearly making mirth. No creature should be having more enjoyment than me. Also, I broke that. Boop! was fun. Give me a key. Shush, shush. You need to lower the voice. Shush. It's tic-tac-toe and really bad doodles of jellyfish. came back. Disappointing. But not a problem we can't rectify. I kind of like the evasion countering system. That, that works out kind of well. Like I said, on, on controller it's not necessarily the best. Hopefully there'll be a little bit more tweaking between now and, you know, I don't know, like a week from now or something like that, because it, it still feels a little clumsy, but, you know, it's a neat system. Another treasure chest that probably doesn't have a key for it. Can I smash it and therefore get the treasure that way? No. Because apparently we want to keep the box intact for some reason. that way little girl the imps will murder you except I already did so um that that's fine go play in the caves no it's totally safe studying the imps thus it is my duty to the imp you can talk to is in the cave if my memory serves me right onward there's a glowy white thing on the map what is this is this the key we're looking for oh it's another player character don't care This way. Well, I got 
got their attention. <laughs> Camera. Oh, their camera. I don't like you, therefore die. these guys I need to kill. That seems a little needless. Secret area. Did we? No, it's closed. Alas, that could have been interesting. No secret areas for us, though. We're almost there. Still 50 kill seems just like busy work. I, I mean, I get it. It's an MMO. There's. a lot of grind in MMOs, I get that, but, you know, 50 kills seems a little much. murdering these guys on mass they're not hostile now, I get it's like a starter area but it seems weird not to make them at least somewhat hostile Check the quest window. Uh oh, I'm getting murdered still. Fine, you know, I felt bad earlier that I had to kill you en masse. Oh my god, chat was useful. <laughs> so there is an actual way to turn off chat on here. Thanks a lot, internet Google search telling me there isn't. Hooray, things are infinitely better now. It only took, what, an hour? Still, left trigger plus left on the D-pad is not exactly inherently 
sensible. Why that's not something in option seems strange to me. Alright, so. We've got to open the quest line, figure out where the hell we're going now. Onward! Back to where we were, apparently. What are we murdering this time? More imps. Okay. I, I mean, I just did that, but I can kill more imps. Fine. This is a very imp-rich environment, so it worked out well for me, I suppose. Yeah, I, I'm seeing that mission objective, take Imp Wizard Staff, and that's immediately making me think of those, like, stupid quests where you gotta kill, like, 200 targets to get one drop. I'm already bracing myself for how bad that could potentially be. That doesn't make it good, but... <laughs> I'm seeing it as an inevitability. Because we've now murdered, what, two? We still haven't got one drop. I mean... Not necessarily it needs to be one-to-one, -one, but in an ideal world it would be, certainly. Hey, there we go. So it looks like the drop rates are okay, not necessarily great. I just want to break some boxes to make me feel special! And I did. So it all worked out for everyone. Where are your warriors? I need to kill them. <laughs> right, there's one. There's another. And they don't look much like imps so much as some kind of weird dinosaur creature, but... They're dying, and that's the important thing, apparently. Because that's what the magic arrow of destiny tells me to do. Make them die. And lo, I did indeed do that. The thing what I just said. So this guy is just dancing in place. I bet he feels incredibly sheepish knowing he died just because he was dancing in spot. You should have instead, you know, been attacking me. That's a good step towards not getting murdered. Not saying it would have saved him, but at least it would have been a less embarrassing death for him. That's one thing I'm looking at, like, my experience far up in, like, the little diamond in the corner, and I do not like that it goes into, like, three decimal spots. <laughs> like, that's a sign that eventually stuff's gonna stop working quite well, and it's it's gonna get real grindy real quick, and I do not care for that, thank you. Again, I get it, it's, it's a MMO, it's gonna be like that. Okay. Nice hat. Okay, so knowledge is randomly acquired. That I do not care for. I'm not saying it should be like, you know, you increase your knowledge level for every kill or anything, but random is bad in, in game design in general. Okay, 
Okay, so I have to use a summon scroll to fight a boss. Okay. I'm guessing they're instanced off into different iterations of the same quest, one would think. Uh, oh right, there's up, and then there's up, and then there's that. Okay, that's what we need, okay. So we need the imp summon scroll, yes. That thing isn't an imp, that thing is a freaking ogre. Oh well, let's murder the thing. I feel this will go well for us. Uh oh, I'm stuck in it. Freaking... Why am I whipping so much? Locked it. Aren't I clever? Ouch. The 10 damage you did to me was truly, truly. And then you respawned a second time. Just so that we could see this cutscene. I don't think I'm actually doing anything, but it makes me feel better to fight him. That's a peculiar way to set things up. Like, clearly I can see them, but I don't appear to be able to actually do anything. But at the same time, it seems weird that it would be visible. Like, it's half instance off, but not quite. That's a peculiar system. Okay, uh, open quest. Okay. Hold your horses there, guy. If you want to attack me while I'm looking at a menu, you're not getting away with that. I'm okay with letting a lot of crap slide. That ain't something I'm gonna let you, though. Okay, so we gotta go talk to this guy. I will follow the coastal road to Velia. And hopefully something will happen. Also, my control sticks are once again not centering properly. That's not frustrating at all. Actually, what was really bad was my Xbox uh, 360 controllers that did that. One would center slightly to the left, the other would center slightly to the right. So if, if I wasn't like manually and actively like trying to center the sticks, I would be like circling in one direction while spinning in the opposite. It was a good way to make yourself super nauseous. It also made games with ridiculously sensitive uh, menus almost impossible to play. My Xbox One controllers are not great, but it's better than my 361, for sure, for sure. I wonder if there is fall damage, I did not experience it. Okay, that person has mouse ears. That is weird looking. Let's do a thing. Oh, 
onward to adventure. There's a lot of people fishing. That seems boring. I'd rather go kill things, but you know, maybe that says where I am in life. Fishing in a video game sounds boring to me. And yet I do it in Animal Crossing every day. This person is blue. Maybe he's Dr. Manhattan's brother or something. Oh, the thing happened. My friends, Whoa no there, people. Let's, uh, let's just get a second to spawn in there. Still looks like the background hasn't fully textured yet. Because <laughs> I don't think those like little hanging pots are supposed to be that blurry. I might be wrong, but those look weirdly out of place comparatively. A greater world awaits your discovery. Accomplishments are not made through defeating others. A greater world awaits your discovery. Okay, so we gotta go do a thing. This way. What? Okay. Is that like player housing or something? That's... I've seen a couple of games that do player housing. That seems like a weird feature I've never really understood, though. Again, weird. Weird amounts of popping in this game. And just some, in general, bizarre character designs. Oh. Whoa there, camera. Oh, there was a time when I dreamed of being a great Okay. Ended up returning back here. So I gotta go in there, I guess. Okay, I will talk to you. What's your deal? You made a good choice to come to Lunar Halo Inn. Get a good rest. What do you say to a glass of Belian wine made by Indusol? Okay, so we gotta go this way. Through the doors. I mean, it's not running super, super sluggishly. That's a plus. He says as the game then freezes. <laughs> it's not running great, but it's not running as bad as it could be. Okay. Hello, adventurer. Give me quests. Alright. This way. Defeat parasitic bees. Well, I have had a lot of bees try and uh, mess with my day. So I'm okay with trying to fight some parasitic bees. Boop! I will learn more about you, Weasel. One of these days, I will learn more about you. Okay, so we gotta talk to someone in here. To get more quests to do things and stuff. scared of a chicken. That was funny. Who are you? Skip. How much longer will this nightmare last? 
This farm is connected to gold. Okay, so we want to go to that light over there. I do like the glowing light in the sky to kind of indicate where you need to go. Boop. That was fun. Kind of surprised at the lack of just general monsters around, though. There's, like, lots of areas that just don't seem to have super hostile enemies. Which seems odd. Beetles! Relative of true bugs. Yay for climbing! I wish the jump was a little higher. That would be nice, being able to jump and actually clear bits of environment is kind of like the point of it being there. Sure. I can't be as obnoxious trying to uh, sell pears in Animal Crossing, so sure, I'll take some apples. Boop! Ah, the glowy spot of destiny's over here! Onward! Plunder implies loot! I like loot! Today, catching up to find out what goblins are up to. Goblins drink free More goblins. Oh wait, those were imps I fought previously. They're completely different. Block. One. I am concerned about how, uh, many kills this game is going to make for even basic objectives as well. And I've already had a fight with like 50 enemies. Also, that was a hell of a lot of popping. Unless that was a spawn. Immersion breaking! a bunch and then win we're into another enemy that just doesn't seem to take damage no, no he's taking damage just very very slowly there's a lot of uh, space between these enemies I do appreciate like how many different types there are but, like just in the goblins, we run into like four different iterations of it at least. That's kind of cool. And they don't all look identical. Which is always a big thing in these sorts of games. Very quickly run into like uh, recolors, retextures, and it's like, uh. I don't want to fight the same guy 12 times, only he's slightly in a different shade of green. You know, it's, it's boring. Lock. I do like the active defense, that's kind of cool. So combat for an MMO is actually not bad. Again, I, I think the fact that it's a game that's reliant on servers and actually being online is going to hurt it in terms of how incredibly smooth it is going to be, but that is just sort of comes with the territory of it being an online game. Also, Bunny, that just seemed to disappear. Still, I mean, the hacky slashy feels kind of nice. Oh, 
I do like to see some hacky slashiness. A rank. Block. Oh, I see. Okay. So you only see, like, the degrading color um, health bars until you actually, like, actively understand them. Then you can see a more accurate picture of their... Okay, that's actually kind of cool. I, I have to admit, I do like that. I wonder if there's, like, a some kind of bonus that you get if you, uh learn a lot, like some kind of like minor bonus to your overall stats or something. I've seen a couple games that do stuff like that. Where it's like, you know, you complete this general activity and you get like a permanent boost to your stats, like plus 1% damage or something. And then it makes even the most mundane of tasks sort of a, a, an achievement of sorts that actually has value. I don't care for it being random though. Random is never good in games. Also, armor! Let's see what that's all about. I think there could be a little bit more loot. Like, it, it feels like loot drops are a little bit more scarce than I'd like them to be as well. Although, that could just be a matter of taste. Certainly. Okay, so we have uh, boop, 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 inventory. I know there's another way to do it. I'm not doing it that way. Plus one defense. Plus 20 to style. Yeah, there's some things about this that are pretty neat, I think. Away. Oh, you're not gonna let me get away without murdering you. Fine. Okay, so it goes this way. Again, weird how stuff is not inherently hostile to you. Oh, these guys are. Hooray, we are making progress. Slowly fixing my qualms. I mean, if nothing else, and it doesn't say very much to say this statement, but it's better than White Knight Chronicles. I mean, I mean, it's hard to be worse than White Knight Chronicles in terms of being an MMO, but... <laughs> It's certainly a better online RPG by leaps and bounds. The sad thing about that is that was my first PS3 game. <laughs> and even when I first played it, it was like, ah, uh, I, I felt ripped off. <laughs> that was a game that had a, an interesting hook that immediately took you away from it because your character couldn't do anything about it. Your character had no story. Ah. Also, it's really hard to get around some stuff. Like, stuff just has, like, an extended... Like, collision around it. I do not care for that. That makes pathfinding a little awkward. The environments don't look too bad, though. I mean, I, I wish there was a little bit more to them in terms of, like, stuff you can interact with. Like, treasure chests and, you know, reason for you to actually explore this world instead of just following the line. And I haven't seen anything like that yet. But, you know, of course, we're an hour and a half in. We're just learning how to turn off chat because that was annoying as hell. And that was completely unintuitive to figure out. 
What? <laughs> well, I did that. Yay, experience. I don't think that did anything, but it was fun. What exactly is classified as a... Ah. I don't know why you're not paying attention to me. I'm hitting you with a sword, damn it. Goblins. And like, will this apply to, say, future iterations? Like, say there's like a, a, a secondary goblin type, would that uh, also qualify, or would that be considered a separate enemy? I mean, we're running into different iterations of the same monster already, although they're more or less inherently completely different monsters. So I'm inclined to think it's the latter, but... Locked! Thing. I don't know what we got, but we got a thing. Okay, so we destroyed that. We got to find goblin sculptures. That would be these things. Convenient. There's two right next to each other. That makes life real easy for us. Hey, yeah, energy increased by one. I guess that does mean we get some kind of, like, permanent stat boost as well. I like that. That actually incentivizes you to spend more time fighting even the basic mooks if you're getting, like, bonuses for it. And yeah, it's kind of grindy, sure, but, you know, it, at least you're incentivized to it. It's not mandatory, and you get a bonus that could help you in your further pursuits. That's a neat system. I like stuff like that. Okay, so where do we have to go now? Check the quest thingy, okay? a boss? Well, I think we have got to go do that. Onward! I think we're running into one of those monsters that can't be killed because reasons. What's it even doing? It's just dancing around. I'll let you continue your little dance party. Onward! I will find this boss and I will defeat him! I think that's the boss. Spoilers. summon thing for that too. Let's see. There we go. That's slightly less immersion breaking when you see it yourself. But it kinda completely kills it when you see two more happen right at the same time. Uh, I don't know, it's not made for immersion, really. <laughs> but 
I kill you, I'm taking your hat just because. Reduce all damage total. That's. Are you gonna heal yourself? Don't do that. I hate when bosses do that. I'm gonna say this right now. If you make a game that has a boss that heals itself when it's down to like 20% health, you've done something wrong. <laughs> Especially when it's like a super boss. It's like, oh god, that is the worst thing ever. Hooray! Did I get loot from that? Probably not, and I wanted some. Goodbye. Alright, let's go to this guy who wants to see that we murdered a guy. And we did! So it works out well for everyone involved except for that guy. Wagon. Wagon has no use for me. Goodbye, Wagon. You know, you could have done some weird Japanese shikitori edutainment nonsense, Wagon, but not this time, it seems. That reminds me, I, I should uh, play some of that sometime. Great game. Great edutainment. That doesn't feel like overt edutainment and actually just feels like a good game. He doesn't appear to be dead, he appears to be right here. Wait, I'll surrender, I'll surrender! This place connects from there. Beetle, owner of the most obnoxious customer appreciation program ever. I appreciate you. Hey. You guys are in fact people I can fight. Hooray! It does feel like we're already uh, getting reduced amounts of experience from kills. And part of that could be that we're somewhat overleveled for what we're trying to do or something. Like I'm noticing white names for enemies instead of like green or red or whatever, but it, it does seem like relative in terms of actual like percentile of you know your health bar or your health bar your experience bar it's already dropped kind of significantly which is not necessarily ideal considering that we're still only what an hour into this game not even two yet do we have anything new for equipment just so that I can not really. Okay. Well, I could do that. Whoa, that was kind of cool. How did I do that? That was neat. That was all like power combo nonsense. I'm gonna wreck your tent just to make your day a little worse. Generic soldier guys. I'm actually taking damage from these guys. That's a first. Now I actually have to start blocking, I guess. Hooray!
Can I get the item? Um. No. There is no empty slot. Okay, so we go to our inventory. Use that. And I guess we... Whoop. Let's try that again. Oh, it's gone. I was going to throw something away, but I guess it doesn't matter now. Seems weird that uh, stuff despawns that quickly. Ow. Genuinely curious if there's fall damage. Hey, I Prince of Persia my way up that cliff. Cool! Get rid of some stuff. Uh, remove that, yes. Remove that, yes. I could have just used that. Oh well. I think I saw an accessory. What does that do? Accuracy plus four. I'm a warrior that doesn't do me a ton of favors. That's that's more of a bonus for archers. Assuming this is like every other MMO ever. Four plus four, they're the exact same. Well, there. Hooray! More accuracy or something. <laughs> right, I found the vengeful spirit of corn. Doesn't like that it's being used for high fructose corn syrup. You just want it to be delicious, delicious popcorn, but no. Now he's all vengeful and shit. to shoot me, and now they're going to regret it. I don't care if I have to spend all day chopping this stupid thing down. That idiot deserved it. I got a tree! It doesn't seem like that's how that works. But okay. Okay, so we're looking for a thing inside that city, which, given that it's surrounded by, you know, hostile people, is probably not going to be friendly to me. I blocked it. You didn't do shit to me. Shoes. I hope if I could see, like, the draw on that before getting hit by the arrow so I could, you know, try and block it, but, you know. Another tree. Again, does not feel like what you would get for destroying a tower, but what do I know? I'm not a tower expert. Run away! Guys with arrows are jerks.
<laughs> you have no place to sleep. Don't you feel silly. And then this one catches fire. And then they fell silly. Wait a minute, what? Supplies? Oh, we can't leave these around. I don't even care if this is part of the quest. I just want to break this. Plus trees! Uh oh. Left. Hooray for the left button. I don't like the D-pad, but it does allow me to heal up, and that's important. But getting more would be better. Which means I have to take less damage from here on out, I guess. Not sure why there's still a glowy thing. But there is. Okay, so we still got a thing up there, and a thing down there. That should be all the things. So, did I just steal a thing from him? What? Okay, well, sure, I'll, I'll take that as a win. Why not? I simply do what the glowing line my brain projects tells me. Are they all racing back there for some specific reason, or was that them just getting kited out of an area? It's hard to tell, because MMOs are weird. Gloves? I think we need those. That does not look like we're wearing white gloves, I'm just gonna say it. Oh, we do have a skill list. What do we have here? Learnable main. Okay, so these ones I don't have learned yet, I, I guess? Fitness training. HP and DP up. That seems like useful. I do like passives better than active attacks, just because you don't have to really micromanage anything. I think that's beneficial more than anything. Can move forward and backwards while guarding. That seems useful. Hmm. Interesting. Nothing that feels mission critical, though. I think I'm still supposed to talk to you. Hooray, we did some things. I think we got a helmet. What? I don't want that. I looked at the little uh, icon of the helmet and saw it. I need a helmet. It defaults to not showing headgear. That's strange, but I don't like showing my headgear off anyway for the most part, so that's okay. Gotta go in here to go find a guy to talk to. Talk to me, guy. Ladders. Um, I think that's peculiar. You have to hold a button just to be able to go up a ladder, and then it drains like some kind of stamina bar. That's weird. Up. 
We're infiltrating. Hooray. I do like how big this world is. I mean, it's an MMO. That kind of goes without saying, but still, I, I like giant worlds, and I like worlds that have interesting areas. So if this place continues to be, you know, interesting, that's advantageous. And now we're at a loading screen because sensibility. I'm not sure what this is about. I mean, I saw one of these earlier, but... Oh, there we go. It's only half loaded, but apparently it loaded well enough to take us to another loading screen. Why is it fractally padding loading? A little confused. I, mean, I think that thing just said I was level 10, but I'm looking at the thing in the corner. It says 16. So I'm not sure what that's all about. Okay, so I can illuminate the darkness. That's, that's okay, fine, sure, sure, but... Where the hell am I supposed to go? This way? Hello! You're going to die now! I blocked you! That time I didn't! I'm not sure where to go. Well, there's some guys this way. That tells me they have to guard something. Or they're there for flavor. Either way, we explore. Because we are explorers. I really just want to Assassin's Creed Odyssey kick this guy off that ledge right now. That would just be the greatest thing. Rookie soldier. You're gonna wish you trained a little bit more. But you won't get the chance. More combat points. Seem to be anything of value in there. This kind of reminds me of the first area of uh, Demon Souls a little bit. There were three guys next to each other. I'm gonna leave that alone. one thing I've, I've learned about MMOs is very quickly you kind of learn the edge of how far an enemy will follow you and what their detection rate is because you just end up kind of ignoring a lot of it just so you can get by stuff without having to deal with stuff more often than not. And I've always thought that was a weird mentality to have simply because, you know, it, it means that you're actively avoiding the game, so to speak. <laughs> Whoa, whoa there camera, whoa. 
Let's just calm down for a second, alright there, camera? points is that just that is that is just that's just hovering there that's peculiar also by all rights you shouldn't have seen me because you know there was literally a wall between us oh we're down here okay but exactly where we're supposed to be going. I don't see my magical glowy line of guidance anymore. Actually, I haven't seen it for a while. I just teleported up here and was largely confused because it disappeared. It was almost as if it was indicating that I should know a thing, but I didn't. That's leading me to be very, very confused. Let's open up the quest window and see what the hell's going on. Okay. We got our magical guiding light back. I do like how flashy attacks are as well. There's there's a lot to like about this game for what it is. I mean, it's an MMO, but that's... It, it's going to feel very much like an MMO, and if you're not into MMOs, this is probably not going to interest you, but it's a little bit more action-y. That said, if you're looking for a real action MMO, you should probably go play, like, Fist or Online 2. So I think that was probably the best one. Because I felt more like an action game that just happened to also be online. Whereas this one feels like it's an online game first that just happens to also have, uh, you know, action segments. And it, it, it's very much feeling like an online game. It's the same with, like, ESO. It's, like, it's very clearly trying to be WoW before it's trying to be Elder Scrolls, and that's a problem. Whereas this game is... You know, it, it at least feels like it's trying to do its own thing, and that's appreciated. I, I appreciate that. Certainly. I don't think it's going to be the best MMO I've ever played thus far, but, you know. It's, it's still certainly a good one, and given that it's been half a decade since I've last played an MMO, I don't mind the idea of getting back into it. The problem is finding the time, of course. Also, seriously, that jump could be way better. Um, I don't understand. I was also up there earlier and nothing happened. What the hell is, is going on? Also, it doesn't appear to be, like, learning of, uh, humanoid enemies, which is a bit weird. I mean, are they not enemies? Oh, here's where he came in before he found that teleport medoodle. Which means, if I understand this, we go this way. And then we go this way. Maybe this will lead us back to where we were, and maybe it will actually explain some things to us. I'm not holding my breath, but possibly. Continue. Looks like there was another place it could lead you if you had a certain stat point thing. That's interesting. Also, Fractally compounding loading screens again because well optimized game is well optimized Actually, I don't know. I, I imagine the PC version probably does this as well, but still 
The idea of going from a loading screen to a loading screen to another loading screen just to move you around the map a little is kind of insulting. Okay, so we're here. So do I have that firefly thingy? Yes, I do. Okay. Now what? Use the scroll of something. Oh, a thing's happening. Okay, so that was weird. Oh, well, we have shoes. We could use some more armor though. I'll take the armor, I guess. I'm guessing the rest appears either as like loot from just a random loot table or you have to trade for it, which is less than ideal. Oh, good, more loading screens. Honestly, the first time I saw this, I thought it just kicked us back to the title screen because the whole thing bugged, but nope, just, uh, just more loading screens. That's marginally better, I suppose. Oh, here we go. Oh. Hooray. Uh, anyway, we've been doing this for about two hours now, so I think this will be sort of a good stopping point for this first impressions type Medili. Uh, so this has been Black Desert Online on the Xbox One being played like three days early technically I suppose or rather if you don't pre-order it gets pushed three days because that's what games are like nowadays for reasons I still don't understand thank you Anthem uh, so far it's um it's an MMO I, I mean that's kind of the obvious thing I can say about it I like the action parts I think the environments are pretty vast but they're a little bit sparsely populated with points of interest and like reasons to explore um, I think it still feels very much like an MMO. I think it's probably not going to dethrone WoW anytime soon, nor has it in the past, you know, what, three, four years this game's been out. But, you know, it, it's fun. I'm looking forward to playing more of it. Is it great? Well, if you're in MMOs, you might think it's pretty decent. I still say Fantasy Star Online 2 is probably still the gold standard for at least action bits in MMOs. But, uh, you know, this one's... Okay. Anyway, I hope you found this at least relatively interesting or informative or something or entertaining because I'm, I'm not entirely doing this for my own health. <laughs> and uh, if you enjoyed this, you know, follow the stream to know when we go live because we do, uh, well, Animal Crossing streams every single day and we do these uh, when we can. Usually try to get one in once a week in order to do my reviews on my YouTube channel, which you should also subscribe to to see everything else I do, which is over a thousand videos at this point, which I am very, very proud of. Um, and if you want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon. Help uh, support the show any way you can so that I can continue to do this. Plus, you get yourself on the supporters Discord where we can talk about awesome things like how fun MMOs can be when they're not overly grindy or repetitive or bad. But trust me, there's there's um, lots of those games out there. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace out, Internet. <laughs>